Welcome to Prophetic Mothers. God cannot do, does not exist. Hi guys, welcome again back to Prophetic Mothers. Well, we're just going to give you a series of testimonies that just happened in NSPPD. These testimonies were so shocking. It sounds as if it's a couple story, like a fiction, something you just want to come and tell to just make people feel happy. But actually, God did it by himself. It's so miraculous. Like, there is nothing to compare to what God is really doing on the altar. Well, listen to it. You see a woman holding a baby, another woman holding a baby. It's not just a display is something that what God has done for them no man can take it away listen to this testimony God for my eye I never ever I didn't hear them I, know they, I, never, I never see them once but it's so much when it does been this evening I speak much when it does been this evening he said my friend said leave her mommy may go to and tomorrow I said no may go to and this evening he, come, he go to and it does been I said just mommy look at somebody somebody is dying somebody is dying no who will look through the window? We see in front the precious, the precious. We run. My girlfriend run go down. Let us see. My son see fall down. Ah, now I just run go down. As I run go there, then I make her wash. As I see the friend, they push, they press neck, they press, they press him for chest. Then they blow him out. When the friends discover, say the man don't die, all of the con they cry. After all of the cold they cry, the now na, na, the man not the breach, nothing, he don't give up. Just that made they call the ambulance, made the ambulance not carry and go more mortuary. Mm -hmm. And as with the heart, I know the um, now my auntie called tell me say, ah, call run, go down. I say carry my water, I carry my phone. Oh Lord, show me mercy. I said the down for death. The teeth said that they are they do super stories. I said the down. I keep that prayer. Not to oh Lord, show me mercy. Not to out of five minutes. He died, finished. They are waiting for ambulance to come and carry the man. Even the ambulance come, they discover said the man don't die. We will put all oh Lord, show me mercy prayer. We have been praying for open the eye 20 minutes before the ambulance come. When the ambulance come, the Bible they confirm say this man already died. Then we start to pray. We start to pray. We continue praying. We continue praying. Continue praying. Pastor Jerry Mesha, you will not die. You will, you will not, not die. Buried. You will live. You will not die. You will not you be, will be buried. buried. Before we know, the man start. The man start to breathe. Then the man shake his hand and say, "Hey, you know, boy, the white people there. You know, they don't believe most of all these Christian things. The white people there, they say, ah." What did we this? We said it's pastory. They say, eh? They started thanking us that ah God will bless us. We are the only one that first of all who come run down when this thing happened. They are even asking us, is it your family? Is it your fa family? Uh, member? Member? We, we said no, we don't, we don't know, know him. But we don't know him. We don't as far as we have, oh Lord, show, show me mercy. mercy. The man will not die. He come he back to come life. Come back to hey, life. Hey, Pastor Jerry, Pastor Jerry, the person where he died. What God cannot do, does not exist. Yes. My name is Victoria and I'm giving this testimony from London, United Kingdom. Um, the first one is for my auntie who was diagnosed of cancer. Um, and I remember Pastor Jerry saying to us in July, um, saying to us to, on the first day of July, when we did um, the, um, one of the sessions of the prayer, and he said to us that we should write down in the next 21 days that God is going to do something massive. Like even the testimony that we can't, you know, is going to do something that will blow our mind. And I remember writing it down on my note, um, on my notes, sticker notes, I'm writing the 22nd of July. I always remember to put my auntie who was diagnosed of breast cancer in prayers all the time when we're doing this prayer and I remember my cousin ringing me on the 21st of July 21st of July she rang me and told me that you know what mom is going off everything that the doctor said it's all the traces are gone they can't find anything and I was so stunned and I remember why she was telling me I was and I showed her I said I put this date down the 22nd of july saying that i would get a big testimony and i just don't know where it would be coming from and i just want to thank god that you know everything like literally 
they cannot find it it's all gone god has just been so awesome on that day the same day was the day she was called and told her there's an there's a space for her to take everything off meaning that she doesn't need to come back nothing nothing i just want to thank god i want to give him all the glory for that my second testimony is on behalf of my brother i remember back in july when uh, he called me and he told me that because he's a professional football player and he said that whilst he was playing he had um, um, his collarbone had moved whilst he was on the field and um, he's gone to the hospital they've taken him and they said to him that he's going to be having a surgery there is no way out of it these bones cannot move back as an adult i'm talking about somebody that's 25 years old that there's no way out it has to be a surgery and i remember him calling me it was a friday and he said to me sister said i'm gonna have a surgery and i said to him i was so certain and i was confident i myself don't even know where the faith had come from i said to him, you're not going to have a surgery I said don't worry and I remember also that that Monday we were asked to bring all our prayer points and anything that would just want God to turn around that we should bring it to them so I was like I'm confident I said to him no surgery mark my words I was so certain my there's a faith that rose up in me because I've seen so many people testify on this platform um how you know they wanted to have surgery and everything was turned around and I believed it even though even in me I was saying to myself are you sure and how are you so certain how the devil wants to come and confuse but anyways I remember the Monday as well we had a fire hot prayer and i kept praying and praying about this particular surgery i remember every day or two or three days and said have they called you be like no they haven't given me a date yet or they said they call him they're going to do another test and, and they're going to have a look again and then going to go for surgery so three about three weeks later and i kept asking him you know what's the update what's the update and then when he, he was going to send the update to me he sent me a photo a photo of the before when he went to the hospital and the after he needed no surgery <laughs> what god cannot do does not exist he needed no surgery how can a bone of an adult move back i don't know what they were so certain that it would take a surgery to do he needed no surgery everything went back into place i just want to thank god i want to give god all the glory i mean i've been on this prayer platform i'm always like you know sending it to people sending it on my thing and you know we've always heard that people are testifying but god is so good i want to thank god for pastor jerry pastor eno pastor uguru pastor k thank you for this revival in our time thank you for letting us pray thank you for drawing us closer to god you know in our prayer walk and i just want to give god all the glory what god cannot do does not exist this morning from canada i joined nsppd september 2020 and since then till now i've been an active member of nsppd i've been believing god for the fruit of the womb for the past 17 years but today you can see my evidence on my hand the god of pastor jerry has done it for me I remember vividly the day he mentioned my case, but I can't remember exact time and date. He said, there is this woman, you have been believing God for the fruit of the womb, and you've been having miscarriages, and today you are pregnant, but you are still afraid whether that thing that happened before will happen again. I know it was my case. I started praying, believing God that I will carry my evidence. After seeing all the testimonies on this platform, and today, God did it for me. Even at five to six months, I went for a scan. They say there is something that's suspecting on the service. And I have a great friend in Canada whom I called Jolene by name. She told me that it's nothing, that God would do it, that I should not be afraid. And behold, I was still praying. After all said and done, they did it and said it was nothing. That's the way I carry my pregnancy to the end. And today, this is my evidence. Post is such a good. God has wiped my tears. He has showed me indeed he's a true God. Brethren, there is power on this platform, NSPPD. God is using this platform to wipe away tears. The God of Pastor Jerry will continue.
to bless each of every one of us. As many that are still believing God for the fruit of the womb, stay on this altar. There is God on this altar. God is working. If you can remember me after 17 years, he will remember you. He's a great God. He has never failed. And today, this is my evidence. Go to such a good. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for doing it for me. Pastor Jerry, may God continue to bless you. May the Lord Almighty continue to bless each of every one of you. Pastor Jerry, I love you. Continue, for I know God will continue to uplift you in Jesus' name. Amen. Testifying from Anambra State, Nigeria. I am the woman who in the past had buried two of her male children. Whenever I give birth to baby boys, they die due to some complications. But whenever I give birth to female children, they stay alive. No complications during their childbirth. So sometime in 2018, a woman approached a family member and asked her, why are you married into this family? Don't you know they don't deliver baby boys? So since then, I've been believing God that God should help me. And I do not know the cause of my, whenever I give birth to baby boys, they die. To God be the glory. 10th May 2021, my cousin Oge sent me a video clip of Pastor Jerry's prophecy because on that day I did not join the fire altar prayers. And the prophecy was that Pastor Jerry said that a woman here has buried her male children, but the female children stay alive. A few months after the prophecy, I took in and I had a smooth pregnancy. But along the line, I was scared that whatever happened to the first two male children might happen again. But I was very consistent on the fire altar and it was as if Pastor Jerry knew my name. It was just a little thing for him to call me if Nanya I am speaking to you. This time around it is it must work. You must carry your evidence. That which you are afraid of will never happen. You will carry your evidence. And I believed all the words, all the prophecies that were coming on the fire altar. Finally, I was delivered of a healthy baby boy. This time around, it was different. The first time since I got married that I was delivered of a baby boy, I laid next to me on the hospital bed. Pastor, this is my son. His name is Chikasirimobi. Chikasirimobi. For God has consoled me. And we are so grateful. No cord wrapped around his neck. He, he was not under any oxygen. This time around, I had a healthy... Oh God! Pastor, I don't know how to say it. Oh, I am so happy. Oh. <laughs> I am so happy. As I look at him, be like say I they dream of them come and Lord and finally that there's a baby boy in my house so oh, I say alive I pray for God to continue to bless you Pastor Jerry may God continue to bless you all in Jesus name what God cannot do does not exist pathetic mothers a mother that loves praise direct and not just spiritual growth and development the wings of fire